Okay, we can begin. Now, if you have any questions during the presentation, uh, feel free to answer in the chat or Q&A, whatever you'd like. And I'll get to them because there's a lot in this talk. It's not that long. It's probably like 20 minutes, but there's a lot. If there's something you don't understand, please let me know. All right, hello. I am Jay Perazzo, and today we're going to be sharing with you what the library has to offer as you as a business owner or as an entrepreneur. We're a lot, we have a lot more than books, but we're a valuable community partner. The most valuable card in your wallet gives you access to a host of services, databases, and programs that I'll be glad to share with you this morning. Now, I always like to start off with a quote. Neil Gaiman has nothing but good things to say about libraries. You can find a lot by doing Google search, uh, much more than a, library, a librarian could do 40 years ago searching through a card catalog. But what it can't do is find things you didn't know you were looking for. Something like how to start a business is a big open-ended question. I had one person last week came and asked information on how to start a bookkeeping business. And she looked for books on using QuickBooks, how to write a business plan, and the contact information of a, of a business mentor. She didn't know she needed these things when we first started her search, but I was able to guide her to the right answer. I found a lot of patrons can get a lot more done just by having somewhere to help them guide their route of questions. Now, most people can use Google, and nine times out of 10, if you ask a question, I'm going to be using Google to some degree. But the true worth is having someone there who has done that search before. And if we don't know the answers, we usually always know where to go next. This is what we offer include meeting rooms, which I include as a great option for external events if you, have, if you need that. Uh, our beloved Steve the Hunter Me Lab, with everything you need for all kinds of media projects. The study rooms, uh, which are a great place for small one-on-one -on -one meetings, uh, or if you just need a quiet place to work. And we also have a host of business programs that will help you network for other members of the business community and be informed. We offer a host of databases to help you lead, uh, find leads in front of top companies and train you, uh, you and your employees. And of course, we have a vast collection of books, ebooks, audiobooks, and movies. We can help you find your next read on any topic with personalized recommendations from our reader's device librarian. Now, if any of that sounds interesting to you, then all you need to access is a library card, including you can use one of the special designs we had commissioned for our 50th anniversary. If you live from the era, you are all, can always get a personal one. But if your business is in there, you are entitled to a business library card. And I'll go over that policy just shortly. It's, it's on our website, but I'll just read over it. Or, or administrators of businesses, institutions, or entities located within our district boundaries may obtain borrowers library card upon providing a documentation and a valid photo ID. The business owner or institution is responsible for payments of any fees for lost or damaged items. The business library card may also be associated with the owner's personal library card and can be blocked if their personal library card is not in good standing. Again, you can check the personal uh, circulation policy for, for more info. Okay. Now, before the pandemic, we were a fairly popular spot for companies for staff events. I do remember one time that um, Duncan, Duncan Donuts, clearly brand is Duncan. Uh, they would come in and have a uh, coffee and donuts uh, for a management staff for management staff while they were training or watching the film projector. Now, right now, our two largest meeting rooms are open and ready for bookings. They can be afforded for a number of seating options, from like a open like audience style to something more like a boardroom. Each room comes equipped with um, a projector, a sixteen by nine projection screen, a Blu-ray DVD player and a, a sound system, and four assistive listening devices. A phone with conference capability, a whiteboard flipboard chart, and a podium are available upon request. If you don't have any, now if you have an office available to you, or you need some place to public to meet with someone, or maybe you have a Zoom meeting, our third floor state rooms are a great option. You can have several booked in advance, Say if you need a room like every Thursday, we can accommodate that. But reservations have to be done at least 24 hours in advance. Uh, they are busy in the evening, so if you do know you need it at that time, please book in advance. One of our most beloved resources is Studio 300, a full service media lab. They have so many cool things down there, including a Mac lab with access to everything in the Adobe, Adobe Creative Cloud suite. Um, you want to feel Photoshop? Don't pay for it, we have it. 
Maybe you need video or record equipment. We have all kinds of cameras and light equipment down there. Want to play a 3D printer? We have several and more tools in our uh, maker's lab. Maybe you need to shoot like a full commercial or record a podcast. We have rooms for, down there dedicated to recording and shooting. And they also have a host of programs. Uh, this month, they have a uh, paint a landscape using an Adobe Fresco on July 13th and make a digital collage comic on July 17th. Like I said, they always have something going down there, usually related to one of their, their already existing services. So if you want to like learn more what's down there and like really flex your creative muscles, I would go down there or take one of their classes. They're always top quality. Uh, the summary of all the meeting rooms they have down there. Uh, there are several group collaboration rooms and recording suites. As you can see, they are well stocked out equipment. If you are in need of anything that's not there, a staff are always happy to help. Are always happy to help you find something. Note to use these, you do need these need to be booked in advance, and you need to take the studio orientation. It's about a half hour, but it's well worth your time because it give, makes you well aware of everything that's at your fingertips. I call to see you today to schedule your tour today. Now I'm going to go to some of our e-resources. Uh, most of these can be accessed anywhere through our website, through the e-resection, and provide access to several services that are normally at cost. Now this includes LinkedIn Learning, which you could get for about $30 a month with LinkedIn Premium, but for here it's free. Now this service used to be called lynn.com, but it was bought by LinkedIn. This service gives you access to a bunch of courses and big tutorials on business, creative, and technology skills. Log with your library card and access for anywhere at library, home, computer, or phone. One neat feature, because it is linked to LinkedIn, is that you can post complete courses to your LinkedIn profile. And some great courses I can recommend include financial centers for small businesses, interviewing techniques, which is not actually on preparing for interviews, but giving interviews. It's a skill that you, you can learn and get better at if, if you like your high new employees and you worry about that process. There's a lot of videos on that topic on LinkedIn Learning. And then WordPress 5 is such a training. Say if you, uh, your company site is, is with, through, through WordPress, that's a great way to get, get updated on the software or service. I'd be wondering how to get there. I'm just gonna get out this prestige for a second and show our website. Like I said, everything is online. Here's our front page. And the fifth tab is e-resources. Click that. LinkedIn learning should be under lifelong learning. It will also be under all resources, but it's mixed in with the others. Lifelong learning and LinkedIn learning. And to get there, all you will need is your library card. I will take your mind to give you an idea of what the site looks like. Like I said, it's all on your library cards and it's there. You can log in anywhere. You don't have to be the library. And it usually lets like, track your classes based on what you've seen before. Like I said, financial centers for small business, that's one. And it also gets your topics, let's say QuickBooks training, and the foundations. And these are all pretty intensive classes. Some are like, some might be three minutes long, but these are only here right now. It could be, like, they, they're very, very in length, but some are very intensive and long. Like this one's like, almost four hours. Let's go back. I'll be back for more resources in a bit. And now, if you want something more intensive, you also have access to instructor-led courses through Gale courses. Uh, these interactive courses run in six feet blocks. Course materials are blocked by time with each lesson we've seen every few days. The assignments are self-guided, but each course, but each course also includes a dedicated discussion board to speak with other students and the instructor. They usually answer back within a day for any question you may have. Now I've taken a few for languages for like a, there's a series called Speed Spanish. Oh, question. Yeah, it's a good service. Like, there's a lot of good um, services there. Like I said, for a while we've um, stopped teaching computer classes, but if there's anything you wanna know on like any of the Microsoft programs, especially Excel, if you want to learn for like specific Excel functions, there's, all, there's tons of classes on Excel and specific functions like pivot tables. People keep asking about that. 
and I was on Gale. Now, like I said, you can usually get help from other students or the instructor through the discussion board. And it's a good service because um, we do offer another service called um, Universal Class, which does have now more courses, but this is the only one that has an instructor who will you, who works along with the class and they're, they, they're very responsive. So and if, uh, for anything you're learning, it's always good to have someone there with you while you're learning. Now let me show you what the site looks like. Oh, went too far. That's also under lifelong learning, Gale you know, courses. Now let's just go to business course and it gives you a little rundown of what type. Let's go with general business skills and see what's there. Next piece here, let's see accounting fundamentals. And rolling now. And one to look at is the start. The next class is going to come up on July 14th. But if you missed that, we have another series class on July 18th. Now, if you join a bit late, maybe for on July 15th, you could probably still join. But if you, do, if you miss it, don't worry. You can always just join the next, next batch of classes. Okay, batch presents. This is one I really like to talk about because it's one we have, but not people know what the real what how useful it can be. Data access reference solutions is a great service for anyone for sales in sales or research in the local area. This database gives access to listings for businesses and individuals. Say you're looking for open a restaurant and want to pick out a location that's not too saturated. You can pull up a map of all the restaurants of a given type and sales volume that are in the area. If you need a source of leads. You can do some very effective searching by pulling up information on the types of consumers in a given area. Uh, for example, new home buyers, people are buying a lot of homes right now, people are selling their homes right now. It's very valuable information. Let's go to the next slide. Actually, I just go to, I can just show you. Okay. And that should be under. There it is. Okay. Yeah. Solutions. Close that. Okay. There's several ways to search. You can use businesses, Canadian businesses, white pages. And what we want today is new home, new movers or home buyers. I'm going to be looking just within the Bolingbrook area. Okay. City Bolingbrook. And let's say we just want home buyers, we don't want rentals. And change to last month, we want the fresh ones. And view results. As you can see, we have 132 results for new home buyers within the last month. Now, this by itself gives us a lot of information. Say we just want to list people we can call. That's one thing. Now, if you want to make census list for more uh, detailed ideas of it. Let's go to the heat map. And we have, here we have those results again, displayed in a slightly different way. So we still have a list out to the left, but we also have all the results marked out. Uh, so we get an idea of where the are they're clustered. Now, if you zoom a bit more, it actually gives a heat map. Oh, I did that. It might be more useful for if you're in somewhere like really dense like Chicago, but if it's only a, like a, under 200, it just does this, I think. If you also, you can just zoom in uh, on specific ones. Let's say near Bowden. A record, yeah, this person's information, address, possible phone number, and possible income. This is just uh, one thing you can do with, with this uh, tool. You can find a lot more, more targeted searches by using um, oh. You can do a lot more targeted searches using this uh, using advanced the advanced filters. 
But I hope this gives you idea of his utility. Again, this is free with your library card. You don't even have to come to the library. You can always you can log in from home just to, just to our website. And back there. On to another database. Now for in-depth information for all, all sorts of industries, check business research premier. This database gives access to company profiles, industry reports, and marketing research. Uh, one company I have here example is Lowe's. This tells you their key information. And their uh, company profile will tell you their key information on um, this fact about the business, uh, history of the key employees with biographies, products and services, locations, and subsidiaries, also possible competitors. Now, if you want to do any kind of research in any industry, don't hesitate to check out their collection of business journals and trade publications. There's a lot of good information there that you do not need to pay for. I like the little animation I did there. Uh, while we do have a lot of um, physical books, we love them, they smell nice. Uh, we also have a great collection of ebooks and e audiobooks. Our most popular service is Libby. One app gives you access to so many different options. We also moved a lot of our e-magazines there as well. Now for anyone in uh, customer service or sales, I highly recommend the classic How to Win Friends and Influence People by Dale Carnegie. I finished that on audiobook last week and it really made me re-examine re how, how I, my process for dealing with the, for customers. I believe it came out in like 1936, but it still holds up. Now, one of our upcoming programs we have in conjunction with the Bloomberg Chamber of Commerce is a Toastmasters group. Toastmasters International is an organization dedicated to helping people communicate and lead better, both professionally and life in general. If public speaking is something you're not comfortable with, or if you want to move into a manager role, I have recommend you check out this club. Toastmasters provides a proven format to improve your ability to present, coordinate, and lead through following their, path, their pathways programs and working with other fellow members. Nothing to sake. There's a bunch of support members of your local community coming to care to help each other improve. We actually have a club that's good. We have a club that's starting on the on July 26. Now, I used to be a member of their old club before we uh, kind of fizzled out, uh, but it was a great help for me. Now, if you would like to know more, please contact me or the Bolingbrook Chamber of Commerce. Now, besides what we have here at the library. I always like to include local, state, and national resources at your disposal. A lot of people come asking like how to start a small business without knowing how many tools are at the disposal at no cost. The Elmwood Department of Labor has a handy guide on their website called Starting Your Business in Illinois Handbook. If you have any, if you have an idea and you do not know where to start, this is a great first step. Now, small business development centers are all across the country, but we have a couple good ones here in the area. I generally steer people, I generally steer people towards the one in Juliet because it is in Will County. I'm sorry, the one at Juliet Junior College because it's in Will County. Uh, but depending on your location, these other two may be of use to you. Each year provides advising, uh, resources, and training to get your ideas off the ground and profitable. Another group we have extensive um, history with and work with is SCORE, specifically the SCORE of Fox Valley. It's an all-volunteer, nonprofit group of local active retired businessmen and women interested in helping you live your dreams, to help you start a business or to make in your existing small business more successful. Uh, they offer workshops all across the area, including we have a series of workshops that function here at the library. This month, we're gonna be covering a workshop on optimizing the use of Google My Business, which will take a look at the Google service of the same name to better help, to be better drive customers to your business through Google Ads and Maps. One of the most valuable services is mentorship. They will match you with a, ment a retired business professional who best matches your needs, or you can find one. Uh, they are an invaluable resource when starting out or if you run into trouble. At their website, they offer an extensive list of an extensive resource library filled with articles, past webinars, and information to help you make informed decisions. 
That's all I have today. I thank you for your time. If you have any questions or comment, don't hesitate to reach to me at my email, or if you have a general question for the library, you can contact us at Ask Us a Question through that link there. Or you can always call. We're open to that. And that'll be screwing around a bit for questions. Again, thank you for being here. If you have questions later, don't hesitate to email or contact us at your preferred method. Uh, anytime you'd like, as long as you, as long as you can, if you do want to do the actual business library card and your business is, is incorporated within the area, you can just get one. What? Well, it really doesn't matter too much because if you have a personal library, it, it really just depends on, it basically just allows people, if you have multiple employees, let them use the card as well. That's the biggest thing. Because it be, it's usually don't let people, we, discourage people from using other people's cards. So if it's a business library card and you're acting on half the business, it, it generally should just give, give them the card and let them go, go to the library and use something. But so if you do live in the area, then you, it's fine just to use your personal library card. And if, if, like I said, if you're the only one who's gonna use it, then just, you can just get a personal library card. Like I said, if you do, I like guess you're trying to do free design work, I would definitely check out the resources on LinkedIn Learning, or just go, go down to the studio location to see what tools they have. Because we have a lot of software that's usually very expensive and like I said, equipment as well. So if you just need like some equipment you don't want to buy, but just need for like one job or something, it just call the studio, just go down there, check what they have.